my first name is Mark is actually a year ago. Uh, uh, one, uh, 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 language skills are pretty low level. Wait for us all Not really because there's actually just less communication because when you work with a director and you're choreographing you have to make sure you're going with their vision and you're always checking in and at times sometimes you try to push them in a new direction because you might have an idea and if they can't visualize it um, and they do that with you they'll watch what you're doing and they'll they'll say oh that doesn't work with where I'm going the neck with the next scene and there you don't need to have that communication because it's all with yourself. <laughs> is just keeping the storyline going because it's a lot of it's fun music and there's so many styles of music and I'm really trying to bring out the styles of dancing too and, and ac accent the what type of music is playing and we played with some of the music we, we rocked some up even more um, did a few other things with it David Nels played with it a lot and it's um, it's fantastic what he did with it so we, I, I make it it's busy because we need the um, excitement for kids that aren't going to pick up all the information that's given out because it's just a ton of information within the, every song so you try to keep it visually interesting but at the same time not taking away from what's being said so that the people that are understanding the lyrics and picking up the um, the knowledge being passed on it, ex it helps achieve that as opposed to taking away from it because you can just also get into it visually and you're not listening and so it's really finding that thing is that too much is that doing what they're singing about is that you know talking about the heart and the beating are they all as movement and kind of talking about you know like moving in the same way that the blood is flowing that we're talking so it had some tricks to it that way and not getting too busy and then you try to um, enhance that with lighting so you know where to look and what's being said so it's a little tricky Everyone knows this music and has, has a, or not everyone, but a lot of the adults, and they have a connection with it. It has a different story, it has a storyline to it. So we're presenting it in a little different way and keeping that through line so it's not just the songs, but you're connecting them in a way that at the end you've gone through a whole story and a journey with these songs also, um, which is a hard thing with any uh, review of bringing songs together. How do they connect and what, how do you go from one to the next? And I tried to work it in a way that um, you become friends with these characters, you have compassion for them, you see Tom's journey as a teacher waking up nervous the first day and all of his thoughts coming together to try to rebuild his confidence and then his journey of, to, at the end regaining that and realizing it's, it's himself doing it, um, that, you, that they start connecting with those characters. So when you know it's getting close to the end, you don't want those characters to leave. It's like when you don't finish the last line of a good book, you want them to continue on it's, and you keep waiting to read the end of that book. Um, or not last line, last few pages, just so you, you, you hold those. It's like, don't let them go away yet. And that's what I want at the end of this. I want them to, to miss the characters when they leave. And um, I know when I see a great show like this that's creative, they're, they're bizarre characters, but there's something that you connect with them, um, that they become your friends. There's, you know, when you're choreographing something and directing for, a children's show, you have to be aware the whole time you're doing it that you're involving every age, you know, so that the, you know, the kindergarten and first graders are coming in and just having the best time and leave with that excitement, not just, wow, wasn't that fun and we laughed, but there's something where they want to learn. Everything that we did within the set, for every number, every costume piece comes from the set. It's all part of Tom's apartment. So I'm hoping that when they go home, they'll they'll go find things in their house and they'll create a superhero, they'll create this or that, and they make it out of everyday things, um, which was, when, when I grew up was always, you know, we didn't buy all the toys, you just created puppets out of different things and then you'd build a stage and you do, and so hopefully they'll get that idea of we can use this to create this and that, and then you get the next age group where you want the information to be there and, and that desire for learning, um, all the way up to, you know, the teachers where I really want to um, inspire them to teach a different way, to be creative and not to fall into the, um, you know, the, well, this is what I do and this is what I've done. It's expanding, you know, and just how can I create a new way and, uh, of that the kids nowadays updated, you know, will, will connect with and will be able to, like, in this music, people memorize things within music and the rock music. So um, that sparks kids to want to learn it. I mean, you look at a rap song, they'll learn in, you know, a day. And if you just did that with information that they need, then it's in there.
So um, it's just trying, every age group you're trying to leave with a different thing. Um, so you, as you're directing it, you're trying to take all that into consideration. The wow factor is just once they start into the songs, it just doesn't stop. I mean, it's just, it just happens and it's like, I don't think we could put any more into a song with, you know, or any of the, the numbers without going overboard. Um, even at one point, one of the actors said, um, I'm standing over here, I've got about five seconds, I'm not doing anything. Was that, did you mean to do that? Because <laughs> there's a purpose, everything, you know, everything they do, they're a part of that learning process or funneling themselves through Tom. So it just never lets down. Um, Tom, the teacher, never leaves stage, but most of the thoughts don't either. Maybe for one song they're off. But um, it's really being shot out of a cannon. I mean, it just happens and, you know, involves the audience. And I, I just think the energy is going to be so high that um, it'll just be, the hour will, is going to fly by. <laughs> As soon as I said I was doing this, people start saying, oh, are you doing Conjunction Junction? Are you doing this? And they have their, their songs, their particular ones that, that, that pop in their mind when they first think of it. So for each person, it's going to be different. Um, I mean, for myself, I, I remember, I mean, verb was a big one and noun was, and definitely Conjunction Junction. Interjections was, and I think from my, from looking at the show, Interjections, because that's the kind of the finale when he realizes that he can do this and he can teach and he regains his confidence and so it's kind of the peak of the show. So that one for the show I would say, but I think everyone just has their individual favorites that in the middle as soon as it starts and they hear the intro they'll be like, oh, this is, <laughs> it'll take them back to childhood. I thought, well, how do I represent Tom that they are part of him. I'm like, well, they all have to have the same color hair. They all have to have his glasses. They have, but I wanted them to also be the individuals because they are his different types of thoughts. Um, so it's how do we how do we accentuate that? So like uh, Matthew has, you know, uh, numbers and and uh, math problems on his pajamas, and he's a, more of the nerd. So he has his hair parted in the pocket protector. And then we have. Uh, Winona, which I just came up with these names for being, she's the inquisitive one, um, and she has question marks and different things all over on her pajamas. And then um, his happy thoughts is Hap is her name, and she's got happy faces all over. Sparky is his spontaneous thoughts, and she has exclamation points and light bulbs all over hers, and big things so that you know they're every, everything is kind of thrown out to the audience so we know. But um, but certain elements of Tom, like his feet, I love the idea of the shoes all being the same because that's what grounds him and so that um, that part and that same hair color and, and facial you know with the glasses so that you understood that but then the characters go in the direction of what their pajamas are. Within this process it just I mean last time last year when I did just so also um, where you're doing children's theater, and um, I call it children's, but it's not children's. I mean, I, I, I'm enjoying watching it there because of what these actors do. Um, they're so talented, and you know, you're you're letting them have freedom, and then you pull it away, and like, no, I want to go this direction, and and then they just go with that, and they find a new, new way to to develop what they're doing, and it's it's just such an amazing process to be a part of, to watch them, you know, take your ideas or you know, and. and take me in a different direction too and then sometimes like oh that's too far let's bring it back but it's such an amazing process and I'd have to say this cast is just um, really just unbelievable I mean it's just been you, when you see it you'll see that uh, they never let down for a second they're always going and you see that their characters even develop every time we run it and and that's um, that's something the audience is going to see too because then it doesn't look like a set thing it's happening that way that time only and the next time you see it, it's going to be different because they've changed and they're they're doing a different thing each time. Mm -hmm.